you how to edit work that's been started in Adobe Express and also how to share it with someone and how to change music. So first of all, um, when you come back into Adobe Express, rather than hitting the plus sign, if you want to edit something you've already started, you're going to go to Projects and you're going to see all your projects there and they're going to be listed from most recent to least recent. So if you want to edit your project, um, you're simply going to click Edit Project. I think this would be a great time to change the name and encourage your students to change the name of the video. Otherwise, when it comes time for you to look at their work, you're going to have 23 videos called My Video. So I'm going to call it How to Walk a Dog, and I'm going to put my name in it as well. And then you can see you've got that simple name change right there. Now to edit, really simple, you just click Edit Project. Um, let's look and see what our video looks like so far. Very nice. So, if you would like to change the music that goes with the video, um, there's with every template, with every theme, there is a set music, but you can edit what the music is like. Um, you can edit the volume of the music. I like my music to be pretty low. And then you can see, you can look at music by mood. If you want to hear what it sounds like, you just click on it. Once you find music that you like, simply click on it, and that will be the music that's going with your movie. If you want to watch only one slide, the slide you're on, for instance, you can use this play button right here. Now you can see you have the option to add your own music. If you had a student who did things in GarageBand and wanted to add their music, you can certainly do that. Um, the nice thing about using that music that's in Adobe is you know there's no copyright issues with it. You know there's no problems with it. Um, so I always encourage them to just pick from what's there rather than get into the problem of them adding music that if you want to put it on YouTube or something like that, you might get a copyright strike for. So um, that is what that is all about. Now, let's say I'm a student and I want to share my work and let another student work on it as well. Um, in Experiment, it does seem to be that students can't work in the same file concurrently but they can both work on the same file in a different device. So to do that, all you have to do is click this little person share and uh, you'll see there's an invite to, and then you just, as long as that student has an account, they've established an account, um, you can share it with them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and share this with um, one of my students who won't necessarily have gone in yet. So let's, uh, let's see here. I, I have a first grader who I've put in here.
and then you just quickly, quickly invite to edit. And that's how easy it is to share so that different students can work on the same file, although not concurrently. To continue to work on your file, you simply keep adding slides. Um, you can pick different layouts. I do try to encourage students to use different layouts because when you end up with the finished result, it's not all samey-samey. It's got a little dyna dynamism to it. So um, I would encourage that you have them use different layouts, play around with layouts. When you add a photo, you'll notice that there's a little pencil and that's how you edit things. Um, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Let's add some text. This is rule number two. When I encourage students to add narration, I always encourage them to make the narration more than just reading the slide. Rule number two, get a sturdy leash. If your leash isn't sturdy, your pet may break it and that would be no good. You will notice something I didn't point out earlier. The length your slide will display automatically adjusts to how long the narration is. If you want to change the size of your text, again, when you click on it, you'll see there's a minus, a plus. That's all you can do with text. Um, this, you can also move text around when you click on it and get the little hand. You have some limited places you can put it to the side, at the top or the bottom, in the middle, to the side. So um, there is some flexibility with that. So that's all you have to do. Just continue to add slides until you end up with your finished product.